a well-exposed aluminum frame forms a sort of stylized trellis skeleton with the engine as a stressed member to complete the assembly on the XSR 900. This future alien look carries right over onto the asymmetrical swing arm that features a split member on the left side to accommodate the drive chain in its guard, and a sharply kinked member on the right. The frame is certainly more ornate than usual, but since it's a naked bike with everything bared to the world, it makes sense to use the standing rigging as part of the overall visual appeal rather than simply a functional component. Yamaha was really going for a clean looking bike with this effort, and the tucked away Monoshock tidies up the rear end nicely. It comes with the usual preload adjuster plus a rebound damping adjustment and 5.1 inches of travel. Beefy, 41 mm, upside down front forks buoy the front end on 5.4 inches of travel, and come with the same adjustments as the rear. A steering head angle of 25 degrees gives us 4.1 inches of trail and a compact 56.7 inch wheelbase. Dual front brakes sport 298 mm discs and 4 pot, opposed piston binders with 245 mm disc and back, all under ABS protection. At 32.7 inches tall with 5.3 inches of ground clearance, the XSR 900 is typical of the naked street fighter genre, built for handling, not necessarily for easy ground access. 